Hello everybody, my name is Mac Burnett and I'm a graduate of August Martin High School, class of 1991. And this is what August Martin means to me. You know, when I first heard they were gonna close the school, my first reaction was shock because I couldn't imagine why. Like, why would they do that? You know, that, that school has done so much for me and so many other people that I just, I felt like I had to do something and I had to say something about it. I mean, to me, August Martin means what's possible if you put your mind to it. August Martin was the first African-American commercial pilot, and I still want to get my wings one of these days. I still want to learn how to fly, you know? Um, but that's why I went to the school, because I was interested in becoming a pilot, and I was interested in, in aeronautics. It was also in close proximity, so I didn't have to travel that far. Every high school has its challenges, but I have great memories of that school. There was a teacher named Mr. Kearney, and, and Mr. Kearney introduced me to weightlifting. And I forgot to put the clamps on the ends of the weights, you know, and I, and I tried to lift a little too much. And um, of course, you know, the weights fell. And Mr. Kearney came over and he, and he helped me, you know, pick the weights up. And, but more importantly, he helped me, you know, clean up my bruised ego. And uh, I remember that fondly. Thank you, Mr. Kearney. And then it was Miss Messo, our economics teacher. She was, a, she was a fire breather. And I was working at a major clothing store and they offered me a stock option plan and I went to her to ask her to explain it, and she took a good deal of time explaining it to me in great detail. I remember that conversation to this day, and, and you're not going to see that reflected on, on my report card. There's, there's just no metric for that. The experience that I got at August Martin was one of people that cared and were connected to the community. Not everyone is going to excel academically, and I understand that. That, that. That's a crucial part of running an academic institution. That's what we were there for. But the connection with a lot of the teachers you know, that were there, I, I remember them intimately to this day. And, and how do you measure the value of them and the effect that they have on the kids in the neighborhood that really need it, that really deserve a chance and a shot? You know, if they really need the help, there, there's, there's no way to measure that. Just looking at this from a business perspective, you know, and because I, I come from a business background, um, are they really just going to take this awesome piece of real estate that sits an entire city block that sits across the street from a park and, and level it? No, the city is probably going to close the school and, you know, renovate it and give it a new name. And put a new school there and that's fine, but why can't they do that and preserve the legacy of August Martin as well? I think we should investigate all the options and see what we can find that serves both interests. I mean, August Martin has been around for decades, and I think that it's important that we really evaluate why we're closing the school. And, you know, I'd rather see us fix what's broken than try to change the school. The current principal, great guy, and, and he's a graduate of, of August Martin High School, and I think that he's doing a really great job. There's an awesome alumni association that's been bringing people together. Um, in my class, class of 1991, has our reunion coming up. I look forward to seeing you all there. Um, and I think closing August Martin would really change the dynamic of the neighborhood and do a huge disservice to the community. My name is Mac Burnett. I'm a graduate of August Martin High School, 1991. And this is what August Martin High School means to me.